Your news on the go. Cayuga County lawmakers have sent a signal to Albany saying no to driver's license for undocumented immigrants. They voted on this last night. Lawmakers say their 8-4 to four vote is a signal to the state lawmakers to try and go back to the drawing board on this proposed legislation that would give the undocumented immigrants access to licenses. Twelve states, including Vermont and Connecticut, already have these laws on the books. Well, hoping to ease the financial burden on some students, one local college is now hoping to knock down the cost of textbooks. Onondaga Community College says it's partnering with Barnes & Noble to start a new program offering technology and textbooks at predictable and dramatically reduced prices. So that program will take effect in the fall. A push to preserve the legacy in Seneca Falls, the Women's Rights National Historic Park needs about $5 million worth of repairs. And today, advocates will host a guided tour to shed light on the issue, plaguing not just this park, but so many other national parks, and try to find ways to fill that funding gap. Well, Syracuse police now giving a few more details about a reported armed robbery this week. It happened on Monday night on Delay Ave, just off Burnett Ave. A woman told police she was approached by three men struck on the head with a handgun by one of them while another rummaged through her car and then her home. If you can help police solve this one, give them a call at 315-442-5222.